We've got some pretty cold temperatures heading for the Midlands the next couple mornings and could even have the possibility for some frost and freezes. So let's break it down so you can know what you can expect the next couple mornings. So we're calling for a low of 30 degrees tomorrow morning. So that will put us in a light freeze, could even have a little bit of some frost developing. But with how dry things have been, there's not a whole lot of moisture to kind of frost up on the ground. But wouldn't be surprised if you get just a little bit of some patchy frost due to just how cold it is going to be tomorrow morning. We're going to be around 36 degrees heading into our Friday morning. So really there, we're just looking at a very slight chance for some frost possible. For the weekend, things do start to warm up a good bit. 46 Saturday morning, 59 Sunday morning. So no need for a frost or a freeze there. And then we're back down around 36 degrees heading into Monday. So we could have a little bit of a frost for our Monday morning. But I would say the next couple days, you're likely going to want the heavier coats to get your day started. Outside, though, right now we're sitting at 42 degrees here in Columbia, 41 in Camden and Bishopville, but a few spots are in the 30s. It's 37 for Winsboro, Chester, also 39 degrees right now in Lancaster, 35 out towards Saluda. At the bus stop tomorrow morning, as I mentioned, it will be a cold one, 33 degrees under clear skies. And then as we're heading home from school, should be bright and sunny, but another semi-cool day. Temperatures right around 50 six degrees as we head towards two, three o'clock in the afternoon. But I do think with well, the winds not as breezy, it will feel a little bit better in that sunshine. The reason our winds die down is high pressure is going to slide pretty much right over top the region for our Thursday. And you can see how the isobars are pretty much gone. So that's why we do think the winds will be relatively weak tomorrow and should make it feel a little bit nicer in the sunshine. Friday, that high pressure slides out into the Atlantic. So we start to get a southerly breeze coming in out of the Gulf of Mexico. So that pushes temperatures into the mid six. 60s also gives us a little bit more cloud cover for our Friday, but we should stay dry. Even Saturday looks dry, although this model continues to paint maybe a few isolated showers, mainly in the upstate. But I think for the Midlands, it's another dry day. Temperatures pushing the low 70s, but you can see our next system gets a little bit closer and should swing in Sunday afternoon. Ahead of this system, we're looking at some pretty breezy conditions. And then you, as it moves through, we are looking at a decent chance for some rain through the second half of Sunday and even some decent rain at that along with maybe a rumble of thunder and then a new area of high pressure clears everything out gives us the sunshine along with some cooler temperatures heading into much of next week but looking at those rainfall totals for Sunday still looking at about a half to an inch of rain. So this is some much needed rain as we continue to be dealing with those dry conditions across a good portion of the area. But I don't think it's going to be too much to cause any real issues, just some much needed rain for our Sunday. So you can see the sunshine continues tomorrow, but cool 58 degrees. We do get back into the 60s Friday, 70s Saturday with more dry weather. Saturday is the pick day of the weekend. Again, rain and wind for your Sunday before we cool off and dry back out into next week with highs down into the 50s.